attention. The bullseye of Erangel. We'll see if anybody's gonna throw any darts out early. From what I can see so far, everybody is holding it close to the vest. Let's let them loot. False sense of comfort, and that's when we get them. That's the best way to do it. I think <laughs> I think rotation traps are actually yeah. the best way to hot drop, quote unquote. It is at least the more unpredictable ones in terms of uh, if you just fly down next to an opponent, it's pretty obvious for them to go, well, uh, we're going to be fighting. So we'll see. We'll see how things are going to pan out here as we jump into the final match of PGS1 again. Our eyes are here. Our eyes are on 17 Gaming. Will they get the first circle? Last game, we tried to get it as far away from them as we could. They still got third place. Let's see where this one is going to take us. It's going to be hard based on that plane path to get one away from them initially, uh, unless it's like a full milli circle or something like that. Circle will come out very shortly here, and it is going to be West, and oh, that's Cerberus cheering behind <laughs> us. Uh, they love these circles, of course, but I want to I want to go on a I want to go on a talk here about 17 Gaming, and I, I I've been with this team for quite a long time. There's a lot of history uh, for them in PUBG esports, mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. I think you know moments to unfold in this match. The first one might be around the corner as Bilmoth oh, spots one, spotted the second as well. Doesn't want to take the shot initially. Mime now though. <laughs> if only he knew. Now seen no tree for cover. Love the fact that he waited with that shot, but H went instantly there in return. Wow, Flash got shut down. He was waiting with open arms, but somehow H went able to recover and kind of expect the trap play here by day trade. Belmoth now gonna let loose of the grenade. It looks pretty darn good, but it just bounces too far. H win doesn't even take any damage from it. That molly should be good. Those crews should force h off the tree. Good thing for him is that his teammates have already deployed smokes, allowing for him to cross on over. And Sonic's right now, while first place might be out of reach, they are in the midst of the big bunch of teams here. There are so many placement points, so many PGS points, so much prize pool money that could potentially go with or against them, depending on how this match unfolds. Now this match could get bloody, because there's going to be a lot of teams hungry for every point yes. they can get to try to climb that leaderboard, to try to get into, again, those top eight positions. Na'Vi, one of those teams we're by it. While the game quiets down, as I say that, of course, Hal just says, you know what, let me just check out 4AM. Can I join their team? Nah, crazy don't want any of that. While we're now having a brief moment of quiet, 17's position right now tells me that they're not playing scared. Just because they play Cinder, just because they play playing themselves today. SDK right into Tianba, a team that maybe has hopes of trying to do something on this 7-7 with the opener on to Vegas. Purdy Curdy and Penta trying to wrap around into the house, but 7-7 having absolutely none of it. Alo down as well. 7-7 needs one more piece to complete the puzzle. Pow Pow here out in the open. Penta's up there, and it's going to be STK gone. It, in mind, instantly take me back to Tempo Storm. Once tried to do a similar play, didn't happen. For the sake of STK, they stayed alive for longer than Tempo Storm did back. <laughs> happens, happens. Happens the best of us. We've seen it throughout this tournament. Gen G getting involved. There was a knock on to Glass. Heaven as well, knocked by Uba. Gen it's Ghibli falling apart at the seams. Everybody is looking at them from multiple different angles. There is no safety to be found. Not at all. And for Navi, getting three points here is a huge two. Look at the leaderboard. They're currently set down in 10th, but look at how close they are. All the way up to fifth place is just 13 points. Could be huge if they can get some more free points over this. Well, the first one didn't exactly get to them. Only the knock was found. No flush confirmed just yet. Three points here could be game winning. You may be asking yourself, why is everybody at this compound on the southeastern edge? Well, people want points. As soon as these fights yes. kick off, everybody starts turning their attention towards them to see if they can find anything. But Gen.G realizing there is not much profit to be found. They're going to leave players there. Circle is going to hard shift up to the northeast. Now, 4 a.m. out with Vox. Vox there with some long-range AK sprays is doing some serious damage. Yep, Lou down to low HP as well. Xiao Hai too down to low HP. Adam actually finding him with the Scar from even further away. Huge damage coming through from third eye. Really wanting to put a dent in 4 a.m. and Ulthus now with the SLR taking out Xiao Lu. 4 a.m. look good in this position. They got the ship, but third eye once again wreaking havoc on teams that try to make their way up the leaderboard. Yeah, just crazy stuff here. I can see Howell potentially drifting towards this fight. I think if there had been a knock on the third eye, uh, they might have been keen to get involved in this, but so far it's been clean for the NA squad. Nurins and Buchils, survivors from the earlier affairs for day trade, gonna be driving center circle, looking for some kind of compound, some kind of safety. There's not much to be found until you get 
all the way over towards just south of the ruins. Yeah, it happened off camera, but 17 Gaming has regrouped as well on that southern side. So look for them to try and stay put in that position for as long as possible. Towards the west we go as Howl in trouble. They found two onto Na'Vi, but taking casualty themselves as well. Cerberus instantly saw the rotation coming through. Howl falls 15th place. That is them out 11th for now. We'll see if they drop further down the leaderboard as this game unfolds. It's a big loss for Tiamba there, losing Lin Shu. Mel with a good grenade. Finds the knock on to Flood. Another out from Uba. Is that going to get anything else? No, it doesn't go far enough. LG mostly able to avert disaster here so far. Grenades up into the upper stories. A little bit of damage to Snakers and Relo. But so far, LG should be A-OK. -okay. That grenade not going to connect either. Avi just needs as many, as many points as they can. Yeah, no reason to stick around. No reason to try and hide it out. Mika able to find down on. Honestly, with all these fights going on right now, 17 are laughing. They're enjoying everything they're seeing. Let these top teams, let the ones on the hunt take out one another. That is the play style they've been executing all day long. We don't have to fight. Let's just let these other ones wound one another. As long as we outlast them, as long as we outlive them, we will come out victorious. This fight for 17 gaming fans, they are in joy. Soul, a huge moment here for Donawa. No escape route that I can see right now. He might just have to fight this out. Certainly he knows that there are other Ascend players coming. Going to throw a smoke. Try to buy a little bit of time. Gonna switch over to that Saiga and the Scar. He knows that this is, there's no other hope here except to win an up close and personal battle hmm. until the rest of his team can get in a position to give him some cover. I'm looking at Ascend and seeing is there a way for them to back out of this? Is there a way for them to wrap down towards that southern side and get out of this issue as Mika is too deep in? He's on the other side. You can see east side of uh, Gatka here. Doesn't have his vehicle anywhere near. He is in trouble and I think that's the issue for Ascent. They simply cannot leave him. Knowing how many points they need in this match, they cannot leave their fourth behind. They need to try and defend. They need to try and get him. But if he falls fast, Expect to see Ascent try and get out of this position. See if Donawa is going to be mentally aware of the way that Ascend likes to position themselves, the way they like to play. It's spread out, it's ratty, no doubt about it. But that has been so successful for them. What a grenade from Mel. Finds a ton of damage onto LG. Oh, Footsteps are one. Ooh, oh, it's so oh. good from Mel. Right on point. Takes down Stakers and Flood. Kickstart on the roof. Can do nothing but watch. We can't do the math, but Mel got all the geometry down in order to get that one through. Second ones will fall as well as Luminosity continue to take casualties. Ascent alongside Danawa. This fight has been brewing for a while. Now Mika will fall. Loki able to fight one. So damage already done on both the two teams chasing. Now it's all on the soul. Ascend here trying to stun him up. Trying to flush him out. Molly's in hand as they continue to push Angle Soul backed into a corner. Gonna use a f stun of his own to buy a little bit of time, but Brex crossed. Soul here has to back up. He gets a little bit of damage. He's gonna push through the Molly. Is on fire, dodges the grenade. Some fancy footwork here, trying to find the knock, but he can't find it. There's one, what? there's two. Soul, he needs one more, but it's a grenade from Brex. Sir, it takes down his teammate, but they do find the kill. And the collapse is coming there instantly here. So for as much time as he could, and that is going to be a second in trouble. Brex, though somehow still alive. Seven HP to work with. Salute, now wrapping around the corner. That's gonna be denied, and that is going to be a set down and out in the final match of PGS1. 17 Gaming can only watch the kill feed and smile now. The teams that were threatening them the most are beating each other up. Still Tianba with three alive. Still potentially a role to play in this perhaps, but it is looking all but over. Kickstart now taking a grenade to the face from Uba. Uba going to launch another one there, but he is dealt with by kick and LG hangs on. Luminosity looked Perfect in group stage. Navi did so in winners. Now both of them crumbling here in the final stage. Tian by able to find one more. That's down or out. We have one team on the hunt. Currently sat 19 points behind our current first place team of 17 gaming. Yeah, there's almost no way. It is a nine near, kills and a win. It's it, it could happen. Nine but, more kills make that <laughs> and a win. Yes, they need a lot more 14, kills. 14 kill win. Three players alive. Come on, Tiamba. Make it exciting. Hey, Tiamba, if there's any team right now in this mm -hmm. lobby who can get it done, it's them. They're playing out of their minds today. They sure are. On the very western edge of this circle, this next shift could be tournament deciding. 17, again, has been lucky with some of the circles going their way off of the positions they've been opting to commit to early on. So far, they're all in on that southern side. But let's see if maybe, for the sake of Tiamba and all their fans, this next one can shift towards them. And maybe Luminosity hearing shots in the compound. Are they committing to it? No, I think they're swinging around. 
Yeah, they're going to fan out and try to avoid this altogether, but Relo took the worst angle here, and he may be punished for it. Skirting around the side of 17, and yeah, the Xiao Bei is going to find another point. That just makes things all the more yep. difficult. Need another one. 10 kills from here on out, 14 kills. Now make it 15 kill win for Tian needed in order to best 17. It's looking impossible, but if there's a stage for it, if there's a time for a comeback history to be real, they started the day in 10th place. If Tiamba pulls this off, that would be a comeback of a lifetime. No doubt about it. Sonics into Cerberus territory. Two knocks and, well, the Sonics are gone. Snap your fingers and, and Sonics will find themselves out in 11th place. Circle's gonna shift down to the southeast here. Oh, 17 is still in. <laughs> Yep. They are still inside the circle, you guys. You had your chances to take them down early in the previous games. You didn't, and now they get to live to ride home about it. Sonics will currently sit in fifth after being removed, so who knows? Uh, maybe Ghibli with two players can find some success, can climb themselves. Cerberus Twisted Minds as well. I mean, for Sonics as well, for Cerberus to get those kills, if there's a team you want to take out and get those points for, and on the flip side of that coin, for Sonics, if there's a team you do not want to give those points to right now, Serpus four alive, just six points down. Huge for them to rack up so many points here. Now, that's one from 17 down. Tianba, when do you make the aggressive play? You need so many kills in order to win it, and you need to take out 17 in order to make that happen. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a long-range shot. Yep. That is... Oh my god, that's like 600, 700 meter knock. And off of the knock, even though they're both inside, they just instantly fortify. They know, great, now they know where we are. Now we have to play it smart. Now we have to play it together. Again, do not mistake 17's patience for weakness. Absolutely not. Uh, Ghibli here, nothing to play but this kind of protection of foliage from the trees in this hillside. And they're, they're, that's about all they got. I'm, I'm really keen to see if if Tianba is going to make a move towards 17. Shots from Imas. Taming very, very weak here is Genji trying to get into somewhere to some kind of safety, maybe the edge of the field, but not much left in this circle to work with. Nope, and if there's one team we don't want to give the points to right now, that's Little Ghost finding the double spray with the barrel in hand from the other side. One point confirmed. One stolen away from Kickstar, but Gen G falls in 10th. Instead, Tiamba is going to try to fight Cerberus here. We've already seen Cerberus stalwart on their defense. Hisaki with the hip fire, taking down 7 7. Ooh. But long skirt, good for the knock on to him. Imas trying to come to life. Tycon got the knock on to long skirt. Pow pow. Last one alive for Tiamba. The last hope for anybody or anything to stop 17 from winning this yeah, event. Yeah, trying to now make his way on over. That nade will be close. Not going to be enough, though. And I think with Pow Pow being a sole player left alive, it's probably going to be written as is that it's going to be practically impossible for anyone at this point to catch up to 17. But with that said, still so many PGS points to play for. Still prize pool to play for. So much on the line for these teams, regardless of whether or not they can make first or not. Yeah, still a lot of teams in the top half of the leaderboard alive clawing for every point they can. If those are grenades, they're going to be pretty darn good. Cerberus may be out here. Pow Pow with a great grenade finds two. Still Hemos on the flank, but Pow Pow continues his reign of destruction. Can't peek over just yet. And knowing that he has Cerberus nearby on the leaderboard, he needs to rack up as many points as he possibly can now. Circle shifting away. He needs to get that heal up. Does he do it in time? No, not going to happen. Tianba down and out. Well, we know how this will end, but let's find out the road that we take to get there. It's Third Eye sitting by Puchils and Nurins outside of the next circle as it shifted back towards the field, downhill direction. But a great day from Tianba. Hats off to them. Definitely. What a climb. Played amazing today. What a climb. Two points out of second. Started the day in 10th. Unbelievable. Shoot. Old this. Running out of bullets. Gonna have to reload. Vox with a bolt. Still some work to do here to get into the next circle as Puchils is just kind of plopping himself down, waiting to see if there's any movement in his direction. How is Third Eye going to take this? I mean, my assumption was with Third Eye was just want to fight, 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 fight. Yeah. But oh, instead, Nurens catches Vox out in the open. And I'm not sure if Puchils even started shooting, so I don't think they're necessarily fully aware of his exact position off of this. Nice double headshot coming through from Nurens there to claim that one, potentially, potentially leaving him on scene and indeed he did. Adam Foles. There you go. Puchils waiting around the corner, just seeing if any more of Third Eye is going to be coming out. He knows there's still one left. 
And they are just going to be keen to watch that door. Smokes have to come out from Odeless, trying to make his way through, but uh, this is hard. To put it nicely. Yeah, ain't gonna be easy whatsoever, especially with the circle, as you said, shifting away from them. Day trade, trying to clean up as best as they can, trying to rag up some more points. They are set just one point behind for him. And again, PGS points on the line here. You want as high of a placement as you can possibly find. Finding him there as Norwich goes down. As Norwich finds Oldest, sorry. Uh, day trade now. Still, maybe could get a little bit further ahead. We'll see. As they are in the blue, they're gonna have to mount up and roll out. So Lalzi and Himas still alive for Cerberus, sitting in seven. Every point could be a change in that leaderboard. Getting shot from a couple different angles, Twisted Minds with a lot of players alive. And they are up on the hillside. It is going to be Spiro. Who's going to get that knock? While we have our eyes on 17 as well, just massive kudos to them. Three second places today. They started the day off with a win. Now they make top placements again. They're a team we know to go aggressive. They're a team we know to not really care too much for the placement points as long as they get the kills. They've just shown all the passive teams how to play passive PUBG. Phenomenal performance in a day where they know there's so much pressure on them to perform well. And now they can just start fanning out and... Go for it. Yes. I mean, they could just start going for some highlight real plays. Just get, you know, farm some clips for the uh, the, the old TikTok there. And uh, Twisted Minds going to be pushing down the hill. Nurin's going to finish off Tosi. Ghibli's run has been ended, but what a performance from them. What a absolutely just pleasant surprise yes. they were here in these grand finals. A lot of surprises in these championships so far. And Ghibli, definitely one of the bigger ones. Did not see that one coming whatsoever. Now, Sushu Xiaobei, I think they know that this one is going to be theirs, but they're taking their fanning outside of the circle to find some of these last kills. Yeah, Puchil's trying to find the heads, but cannot. Grenade comes up short, fortunately for him. Smokes have to come down. Little Ghost has a crossfire. That's going to allow Xiaobei to push forward off the backs of these defensive smokes. Grenade is going to be out. Nurin's here, a little bit too far away to take much damage. Only nine comes through. Looking to see if they can get his teammate revived. Loving that we're seeing 17 not just care for the championship. They want to win the final game too. They're not done playing until the fat lady sings and she hasn't sung just yet. One more comes through. That's stay trade out. 17 again taking matters into their own hands. Love to see it. Just absolutely phenomenal stuff here from 17. But now they have their most formidable foe left here in this game. Twisted Minds to their north. They will be looking in this direction. A straight up 4v4 could be very exciting with Himas out. It is two teams remaining. It is EU versus who will certainly be our PGS1 champion. And if Twisted Minds win this game, there might just be a top three, top two spot available for them. Another big comeback in Grand Finals. They did not start off strong here in the Grand Finals, but they have played really, really well today. Shaudidi now making his way to join the rest of 17, or at least create an off angle here. Xiaobei waiting. Oh, Batulin's on the edge of the blue. is going to be forced back. And Xiaobei knows it. He knows that Twisted Mind is in a tough spot, especially with this position. Yeah, exactly. Both Xiaobei and Perfect X playing kind of the backfield protector roles, trying to get overhill overview roles. And both Spear and Batulin's, they have to back off. It's simply too strong of an angle to a push. So Shoom able to find Batulin's. That's one down. All right, that's one. Three more to go here. Xiaobei spray just not quite good enough. Took some damage from Perfectix at the end of it. Suju comes downhill, Ooh. taken down by Lou. So still hope here for Twisted Minds to come through with the final win. And again, for Twisted Minds, they know that they need points here. Gotta try and go for the flush. Just one placement point extra, one, or one kill point extra could be the deciding factor in both prize pool and PGS points. Lou now under pressure from Shao DD. A lot of damage being done. A grenade splashing by Shao Bait, still alive. Still trying to do something, but a great grenade from Spyro has Xiaobei down. Little Ghost and Wu just with hay bills and a vehicle for cover each. We'll see if they can somehow bring this one home. Two versus three. Twisted Minds has the better outlook, but they are not inside the circle just yet. At least not Spyro and Lou. No reason not to play for it here for Twisted Minds, but it's downhill out in the open of a crossfire between Little Ghost and Xiao DD. See if they can get it done. Shots are starting to ring out. Lou is down. One player left here for Twisted My. Oh, two players left. Excuse me. Perfectix out in the other side of things. Spiro down. Okay, now it is one player left here for Twisted Mind. Perfectix going to be spotted. Little Ghost dialing him in. Is almost down and out. The cherry on the top here. 417 could be coming shortly. Perfectix still trying to do what he can to win this out. Chow DD not going to have any of it. He's going to try to flank out, try to finish the job. Perfectix still trying to keep himself in this. Wants to win this game. Like you said, Toby still has something to play for. 
Some time being bought, Shao Didi now taking some shots, but Perfectix with some smoke. Maybe a little time left. And he's not inside the circle yet either. One smoke lopped on forward. We'll have time to get one more first aid off, but this run is going to be so damn difficult. They know exactly where they have him. He's he's in trouble, to say the least here. <laughs> that is pretty good life. To say the least. This will be tough. Still some smokes left here. But you can see that Shao Didi and Lil Ghost. Plenty of bullets left. Plenty of angles to find. As the time ticks down here, phase seven drawing to a close. And what, now, what a game of 17 could bring it home in the final one, too. Oh, I know. I mean, this would just be just a wonderful finish uh, if 17 is able to get this done. Gonna confirm the kill there on the outside of things on the Spiro. For Vectix, maybe if he could find one knock on one side, he could still get this done. He's gonna get in the vehicle. Bold play here, but has to make some kind of maneuver. The shots are starting to ring through. If they can just find the head, they will have a win, and they will have themselves a championship. The spray comes through. 17 Gaming takes the chicken dinner, and at long last, your PGS1 champions will be 17 Gaming. Unbelievable stuff, Toby. Absolutely unbelievable stuff from this team. Just a phenomenal run to get here after what looked like a team that we had counted out are able to come through into these grand finals and reach their first global title. And to bring it home in the final game too. Again, not leaving anything up for grabs. Best champion. And here they are on stage from China. It is 17 gaming holding up their flags showing the pride of their team and their country and well-deserved an absolutely just a brilliant performance and here they are once again your pgs1 champions 17 